Uh, hello everybody, uh, Perplexed Damage here, welcome to this special episode. Um, today we participated in a uh, Galactic Guardians, it was a, uh, let's see, turn it just a little bit, there we go. Galactic Guardians, a uh, 400 point, uh, buy two 5 pack boosters, and build 400 point team. Um, we, I should say my pull wasn't that good, but, uh, surprisingly, um, but uh, I will talk about that probably later on tonight, Sunday night. Uh, do a weekend update. And uh, but for right now, I wanted to just do a quick little video for you um, about the LEs that were released with the OP kit. Uh, there was four figures. I have three of them here, and the other one is like a Colonel Yule something. So. Um, that was available, but, but I forgot to grab that in time, so, and, uh, and then there was two objects that was available, and also the zombie team base. Um, I wasn't really too interested in the zombie team base, since we only have, like, two, two zombies right now. We got Juggernaut and Red Skull, and, uh, we did have, uh, the scroll, and the my brother pulled the mole man last night, but we got a couple fifty dollar offers for uh, both of them, so each. So we decided to go with that because in hero clicks, uh, you know, money talks. So all right, so let's just start things off. Uh, we'll go ahead and get the objects out of the way. So okay, the first one is. I actually decided to glue them onto little poker chips because if you can see there, hopefully there's not too much glare. You can see how small it is. It's literally like right like right here. So very small, very tiny. Get it up close. That little orange thing is called the cosmic control rod. Here is its card. Let's see, there we go. Here's its card. It is for eight points. It's a relic roll on five through six. This character can use the power cosmic team ability. If this character can already use the power cosmic team ability, instead modify their combat values except damage by plus one. So Finally, you, uh, for eight points, you can give a regular Joe Blow uh, the uh, Power Cosmic Team ability. And I'm pretty sure that, uh, pretty sure you could work around Scarlet Witch if people are still talking about that Scarlet Witch. Um, you know, she could, she could dish, dish out her double power action to remove something and then you have another chance of getting somebody with power cosmic so pretty cool very cool little object that they've decided to create the next one is the it's called the Terrigen crystal so here it is right here nice and blue I decided to put that on a poker chip too here is the card. Let's try to get a good. Here we go. That looks good. Here's the card. And it is for five points. Uh, it's a relic roll of four through six. And first it says characters with the inhumans keyword modify the relic roll for this object by plus one. So that's pretty sweet. So then all you need is uh, anything but a one or a two. And here it is. It's give this character a free action and roll a D D6. It can't be re-rolled. Modify the combat values. Modify the following combat value by plus two until your next turn. So you roll one, it's range, two, it's speed, three is attack, four is defense, five is damage, and if you get lucky with a six, it is your your choice. So Plus two on a combat value for five points. So, 
pretty cool. So, two pretty uh, pretty legit uh, relics that we picked up. Okay, we'll get those out of the way. Okay. Now for the dudes. All right, the first one I will be showing off is Captain Atlas. He is 120 points. He's LE101. Kind of looks a little bit like uh, Captain Marvel. But the big difference is that you can see, if I get close up enough, he's got a little goatee on. You can see that. Well, not a goatee, but a bit of a mustache. So, you can see it. You know what? It, at first glance, it looks like it's frowning, but it's a mustache. So, okay. So, he is a flyer. He's not in Dom. He has six range and a single target. And here is his card. Try to get that on the angle shot. There you go. Here's his card. Here's the back. Okay. All right, so we got keyword Cree, pilot, soldier, and star force. And he's got a special trait, Cree strategy, and power agents. Give Captain Atlas a free action and choose a friendly character with the Cree keyword. Friendly characters with Cree keyword adjacent to the chosen character can use empower this turn, but only to affect the chosen character. So, pretty cool. Okay, so he has, for his speeds, he's got running shot, hypersonic, and charge. For his special attack, he's got stolen nega butt bands. Uh, Captain Atlas can use energy explosion, pulse wave, and the power of cosmic team ability. So that's cool. And um, then we have, for his defense, he's got toughness, and impervious, and combat reflexes. And his damage is outwit. And okay, so let me go over this dial really quick. All right, so the first dial we see is I don't know if we can, yeah, that's good. Uh, running shot of nine, uh, nine attack, seventeen defense with his toughness and. Four for outwit, so not too bad. Try to get it. Yeah, that's good. So not too bad. Okay, so the next click is um, eight running shot with ten attack, seventeen toughness, and three damage for outwit. There he is. There. Next one is 11 with the hypersonic, 11 with his special attack, so that's when he gets energy explosion, pulse wave, and uh, uh, power cosmic team ability. 18 impervious with uh, 3 damage. So that's his killer click if you get him down to that one. That's pretty good. That's when he gets really mad. Very mad. Okay. Fourth click is 10 hypersonic, 10 special attack, 17 impervious with 4 damage. So that's slightly even more creepier. Okay. Fifth is charge with 8, 10 regular attack, 16 counter reflexes, making it 18 at close combat attacks, and 3 damage. So. Pretty cool. Only thing he's missing is super strength. Okay, and six click is seven charge, ten attack, sixteen defense, combat reflexes, and three damage. And then his seventh click is KO. So pretty good, pretty good. Um, he starts off really weak, but once you get into it, he's pretty powerful. He does have that outwit with six range, so that's good. And clicks three and four is really, really good. So, all right, there's Captain Atlas. Okay, moving on. 
we have one of the Fraternity of Raptors, a guy that looks like Dark Hawk. All these guys look like Dark Hawk. So there he is. There's Tal Talon, and he is a unique because of the Silver Rain. And we have 120 points, number 102. Very cool sculpt. Very cool sculpt. And all right. So right away he's got flight, regular attack, regular defense, six, um, six range with a single target. So let's go over his card really fast. All right. There's his card. A lot of words. Oh, and there's the back. All right. We got uh, armor, assassin, fraternity of raptors, and Shi'ar. So that's really good. Um, special trait, replacement host body. Give uh, Talon a free action and place an adjacent friendly character on this card if there are no characters on this card. Um, at the beginning of your turn, roll a d6 that can't be rerolled and uh, on a result of 5 through 6, heal that character of 1 damage. When Talon is... KO'd, return that character to the map in the square Talon last occupied. The ability can't be ignored. So... So... So it looks like you remove an adjacent friendly character from the game, place them on your card. Beginning your turn, roll d6, can't be rerolled, and result of 5 through 6. Heal that character 1 damage. Okay, so if you get a character that's low enough, you just put them on the card, and every time at the beginning of your turn, you roll the d6 and try to get them up there for support. And then when Talion is KO'd, you basically bring that character back in the game. So. Yeah, pretty cool. Pretty cool. Alright. Um, uh, to serve the great purpose, or um, his speeds are running shot, and he's got a special speed of get others to do the dirty work. Talion can use mind control and may use it to target a single friendly character. When he uses mind control, the hit target can use precision strike until actions resolve. And if his hit target is friendly, it is given an action token after actions resolved. So, yeah, pretty sweet. So he's got mind control against friendlies with armor, assassin, and Shi'ar. So, pretty cool. So, you do have to give him the action. So you can't do like a, like if somebody doesn't have an action token to start off with, you mind control them. And then they do attack. And then normally they don't they don't take an action token, so you could do another attack. But this time it's saying that you have to give them an action token. So yeah, there's a drawback to it, but it's still pretty legit. Uh, his attacks are penetrating psychic blast, blades close. His defense is toughness, uh, energy shield, and probability control for his damage. So pretty cool. So you got a guy, a uh, armor assassin, and she are. And fraternity raptors with the uh, prod, so pretty pretty cool. Okay, so here he is. All right, we will start off with a running shot for ten damage, penetrating psychic blast for ten, seventeen toughness, and three damage for probability control. So right away he's got PC. So I get that it's going to take him. That's probably the best bet right there. Okay, so give him a click. He's got running shot 10, penetrating damage 10, 17 toughness, and 3 probs. So basically the same exact click from the first one. Okay, third click is 9 with that special speed of um, the mind control. And penetrating damage for 11, 17 toughness, and 3 uh, damage uh, for a prob. So, first three clicks is prob. He still has his penetrating damage, so that's pretty sweet. 
Okay, second one is basically his defense go, or his damage goes down one. So it's nine with a special speed, ten penetrating, seventeen toughness, and two for the prob. So, okay, is is uh, fifth click is the special speed for nine blades with a ten. 16 defense with energy shield and 2 damage for prob control. Alright, uh, 6 click is 8 regular speed, 10 blades, 16 energy shield, and 2 damage without the prob. So he loses the, he loses the prob uh, on the 6 click. And 7th click, he's got 8 regular, te or eight, 8 regular speed. 9 blades, 16 energy shield, and 2 damage showing. And on his 8th click, he is KO'd. So, 7 clicks of life. So, not too bad. Uh, running shot running shot with penetrating damage with prob. Uh, that's, um, that's pretty scary. So, uh, and he's a flyer. So, pretty scary stuff. Okay. Next one is... These guys are going to be really cool. You're going to see a lot of these on robot teams. So this one is the Recorder 211. So here he is here, kind of holding his chest. Um, so it's number it's 70 points, and it's number 103. Okay, he's got regular foot for movement, uh, regular attack, regular defense, and regular damage. All right, so here is his card. He was big in the four comics, I take it. Okay, so he's got uh, um, keywords are Regillian and Robot. His special trait is from the Watcher's Home, I record Earth. When Recorder 211 uses Outwit, he doesn't need Line of Fire, and he can, and he can replace his range value with his printed attack value. So pretty much, he's got Outwit, and instead of the five or six, he's got the attack is a nine, so he's got nine range for Outwit. So pretty good, pretty good. He doesn't need line of fire. <laughs> yeah, pretty good. Good stuff, good stuff. So basically he's like way up here, way above the map, just looking over everybody. Like, yeah, I can see you. You think you're hiding behind a wall. I can see you. All right. All right. So he has, uh, his movement is phasing and teleport, and his Defenses are toughness, energy shield, uh, special damage is outwit, and or rigor damage is outwit. His special damage is recorder can use outwit. Well, go figure. He can use it three times. Just, just in case you didn't understand that he's got outwit, he's got three outwits. Uh, we got uh, when he does use the outwit on the special damage. You may choose a generic keyword and either speed, attack, or defense. Counter the power in the chosen slot on each opposing character with that generic keyword. So, pretty much when he does, he may choose a generic keyword and either speed, attack, or defense. Counter the power in the chosen slot. Wow. Okay, so he's going up against a whole team of, let's say, Avengers, and he picks their defense. He counters. <laughs> uh, he counters the power in the defense for all the characters. Oh wait, generic. Okay, so it's not Avengers. It's like mystical or armor or, or uh, just anything besides name. So. <gasps> Pretty good, 70 points. Yeah, pretty good. All right, so here we go. All right, the first click is an eight 
movement for phasing and teleport. He's got a 9 damage, so his outwit becomes 9 range. 16 toughness. And 1 damage for outwit. Give him a click. And he's got 8 phasing teleport, 9 uh, attack, so 9 range for outwit. Uh, 16 toughness and 1 damage for outwit. And we got 8, eight phase and teleport, 9 attack with 9 range for outwit, 16 defense with toughness, and 1 damage for uh, outwit. And then we have his fourth click is he loses his phasing and teleport. He's got four speed, nine, nine for his outwit, 17 energy shield, which makes a 19 from range. That's pretty good. And then one uh, for his special outwit where he can counter uh, any generics um, uh, power on speed attack or de defense. And... 4, 9, 17, and 1 special damage on the 5th click. 6th uh, click, he's still alive. Wow. 6th click is 4, 9, 17 energy shield with uh, 1 damage on the special. And then 7th click, he is finally KO'd. So, oh buddy, this guy is going to stay way out of the crowd. And uh, he's got 9 outwit. Oh, <laughs> very cool. So, so uh, one good thing that the uh, oh, the Guardians of the Galaxy did was they did uh, make robot keyword a lot cooler. So, uh, so there you have it. There's the OLEs. There's the objects. So. All right, so thanks for watching, everybody, and uh, hope you get lucky and pick up some of these uh, LEs. Uh, not as good as the Deadpool ones, because you really can't get too uh, too too good over uh, Cosmic X23, but uh, but these guys will work where they need to work, and these objects are pretty cool. So uh, good luck trying to win these at your venues. And, uh, all right, guys. So this is Perplex Damage, reminding you that if you're going for that KO, don't forget to perplex your damage first. Uh, have a good Sunday, everybody.